Hello, welcome and thanks for choosing this video course. In this video, we're going to talk about how to deliver the result after payment is made. First of all, you need to state your goal clearly. Write what you want for the goal as well as how you want it. Believe that the goals work best if you add an emotional component or inner intention for them. So you want to do X, hire an assistant, write that proposal, edit that film, while also being joyful or facing a fear or with an open heart, or being openly communicative, etc. Next is to set your goal time. Goals should be large enough that they require at least 30 days, but no more than three months to complete. What's your due date? And then break the goals into categories, both inner and outer. For example, if your goal is to create a website, it can cover hiring a graphic designer, writing web copy, deciding on the feel and look of the website, what you'll offer as a free gift, and more. An example of an inner goal might be managing fear around hiring contractors. After that, you may break it into baby steps. Break those goals down into time chunks of one to two hours to make each one as manageable and doable as possible. So if you're building your website, one goal might be to research websites that you like. The point is to make it small enough that you can do it without feeling overwhelmed or over time. At last, put them in your schedule. Once you have the baby steps chunked down, you plug them into your schedule, decide what you'll do the first week, what you'll do the second week, and so forth. It's important to grab a basic picture of your client. Is the client public or private? If your client is public, there is an abundance of information available and easily accessible online. If the client is private, it can be a bigger challenge to unearth information, but often all you have to do is ask. Ask the client for the financial statements, internal research, anything they think may be useful. Determine if the client is big or small. You do this by looking at the company's annual sales, market capital, income, annual profits, total assets, and number of employees. Is the client simple or complex? In order to determine the complexity of the client, look at the number of products or business lines. What do the capital and corporate structures look like? Is the business regulated or unregulated? How many countries does it operate in and what is the number of employees? Also knowing the client's decision-making process is crucial. As counsel, you need to know how and by whom decisions are ultimately made. Is the culture bureaucratic or entrepreneurial? How does the board of directors operate? Is there delegation of authority or must all decisions be approved by senior management? When business is tough, goal setting is critical. If you don't want to get sucked into the downward spiral, you'll need to head for higher ground. More important, you need to know how to get there. Make an action plan is the number one secret to effective goal setting regardless of what your goal is. The key to reaching it is always the same. The best, perhaps the only way to turn an abstract goal into an attainable reality is to create an action plan, a nitty-gritty, no-nonsense action plan. The fact is that when business people set measurable goals, they are much more likely to attain them. That means not just defining your objectives, but also defining the resources, time, and money you'll need to invest in order to achieve them. Achieving your goals, even big goals, doesn't require brilliance or talent. It does, however, require determination and tenacity, and most of all, a realistic action plan. If you don't plan, you plan to fail. So write your goals down, then start filling in the blanks between point A, where you are today, and point Z, where you want to be. The act of writing your ideas down, or say keying them into your laptop, will force you to think in concrete terms. It'll also spark additional ideas. This is the birth of your action plan. And then, break your plan down into baby steps and attach a realistic deadline to each step. Determine how to measure your progress. These measurements will be your reality check. Then, define your investment. How much will each step cost in terms of dollars, time, research, and energy? What resources can you draw from and what additional resources will you need to acquire? Monitoring your business is a great way to ensure maximum productivity and profit. It doesn't matter whether you're a sole trader or have a team of employees. Everyone needs to use their time and skills efficiently to maximize impact. Productivity is determined by many different factors, which can include having the right procedures in place, 
prioritizing workload and keeping yourself and any employees motivated. Bring them together. A strategy is essential for any business. However, before you strategize, spend time analyzing all your processes, what activities you carry out, why you carry them out, what the outcomes are, and how you manage them. You can't map out your strategy until this exercise has been done. By having clear goals in place, you can see what you're working towards. But remember, don't make the mistake of only planning for the here and now. If you're going to streamline your process, you need to understand your long-term objectives to make your business last. Having a defined strategy is like setting yourself targets. These targets should be measurable by both personal and business growth. It could be something as simple as sales targets or making new business contacts. Achieving these targets can also really help motivate you and any team members. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.